morning everyone uh today is monday march 23rd we're here for our daily dose um you know things are changing every day so we've just found out that this morning uh governor evers did do a what he is called safer at home or another word for shelter in place order for the statewide so going forward we had already closed our door to the public but he's making it mandatory for all non-essential businesses. Are we non-essential? To some people we are, but to you guys, we may not be. So we're not sure how it's gonna work with, if you need something to contact us, we're thinking we might be able to get it to you through a drop off or a pickup type status, but we will work with anybody one-on-one -on -one for that type of situation. Um, so with that, we do, Elaine does have a little bit to talk about with the, the shortage on the masks that's been going on and a lot of us have been seen on Facebook. So I'll let her go with that. Sounds good. Um, the medical face masks are a big question right now. There's a video all over the website on how to make them. Um, yesterday afternoon, Cheryl and I talked and we're looking at a number of things. And most of the videos show how to make the masks with elastic. And Cheryl's going to answer the phone, and I'm going to keep talking. Um, to make them with elastic, the issue is elastic is getting to be about as scarce as toilet paper. Um, very hard to find. Also, filter fabric, all these different things everyone is talking about. What we can figure out so far from the people that we've talked to is basically these masks are better than nothing. Are they perfect? No. Will they stop the virus? No. Might they help stop spread germs, coughs, flu, those types of things, and help somewhat? Yes. Um, so the video that I did shows how to make the masks with ties rather than elastic. Um, it goes through how to um, cut a fat quarter. If you're using fat quarters, which most of you are quilters and have fat quarters or half yards, you can get three masks and one extra set of ties from a um, from two fat quarters so it gives you a feel the video shows you how to cut the most frugally to get the most out of the fabric that you're using basically it's a square that's six by nine and it shows how to make the ties so that there are no raw edges so as they go through the wash over and over again which we hope they will at some point um, they won't fray and shred on you um, but the video shows everything. I posted it on Facebook last night. It will be up on Daily Dose shortly. Um, we're running a little late today because we didn't know exactly what was gonna happen. Um, we've contacted a number of local places, um, hospitals and clinics about masks. Most of them right now are saying they're okay, but that's today. Things are changing daily. Um, we did see notice that Bellin and Green Bay and Aspira and Wausau both were looking for masks. As you make masks, you'll see different things. As we hear things, we'll try to post it for you or let you know. Um, we can't really, at this point with being closed, um, become a drop-off point, but we'll try to share either on Facebook or Daily Dose information about where you can drop masks. Otherwise, for right now, if you're making them at home, hang on to them and at some point they're gonna be, there's gonna be a big need for them and we'll deal with that when that comes. Um, hope that makes sense. The um, other thing I wanted to mention, um, Cheryl said you can get a hold of us if we're, you're trying to find something that you need. Our email, just so you know, is quilt, Q-U-I-L-T, at sewingbasket.biz. B is in business, I, Z is in zebra. Quilt at sewingbasket.biz. We will be checking email. Um, Cheryl and I may or may not be in each day. Um, if you leave a voice message, um, we'll get it as soon as we come in next. Um, but email will probably be a faster way to respond. That also means we're not sure if we're going to be here together. We don't know what this all means. So Daily Dose might end up being one or the other of us. Probably her more than me. I live out in the country. Uh, my internet connection is not as good, so it's harder for me to get things uploaded onto the website. So she may be doing... Uh, a few more of the daily things that that we talk about um, and even if it's not a video of the two of us talking there will be something there every day Monday through Friday whether it's tip sheets learning videos um, something about us maybe a recipe could be a foolish little joke for the day just something to stay connected and keep our community 
working together. Remember what we talked about the other day? Call your friends, stay in touch. Nobody's real comfortable with what's happening and staying in touch is a good way. Obviously social media, not physically in touch, um, but a good way to keep us connected. Okay, so I think that's it for now. Hopefully you'll see one or the other of us tomorrow. Take care. Bye. Bye. -bye.